In this video, you'll learn all about symmetrizing vertex groups in Blender, especially symmetrizing bone weights. I'm going to cover working with symmetrical and even non-symmetrical meshes. You can now get access to all CG Dive tutorials, including my extensive paid courses, unreleased videos, and supporter-only content for just $5.99 a month. Check out academy.cgdive.com slash subscription. Let's start with a perfectly symmetrical mesh, because that's a common case and it's easy to work with. First, let's get the obvious out of the way. When you parent your mesh to the armature with automatic weights or even empty groups, if you want to paint manually, you'll be ready to weight paint. So select your rig, shift select the character and go to weight paint mode. Now you can control click any of the bones and you're ready to paint. Before you start, you should go to tool, and I personally always enable auto normalize and on the symmetry since my mesh is perfectly symmetrical I can enable mirror vertex groups and the X options both of these and now if I paint on this bone and then control click on the other side the exact same weights have been symmetrized automatically so I can paint on the central bones as well and I have automatic mirroring But let's undo and let's say that we forgot to set the symmetry options and we painted a little bit here on the arm and here and even here and here and here. Now if I want to symmetrize these weights after the fact, here's the easiest way. Go to object mode, select your mesh, go to edit mode and now you want to select half of your mesh and that has to be the half that needs to be changed. Of course you can box select, but a very efficient way to select one half of the mesh is to select a central point and then go to select side of active and now I want to switch to a negative to have this side selected. Then I'll go to object mode and again select the rig, shift select the mesh, go to weight paint mode and here enable the vertex selection. Now all I need to do is go to weights, mirror, and enable all groups. Then disable vertex selection and if I control click on this bone and then on this one you'll see that the weights are exactly the same and here on the central bone the weights have been mirrored as well. This is the most efficient way to symmetrize all weights on a symmetrical character. And if this solved your problem that's great but you may want to stay for the rest of the video to learn about free add-ons that can speed up this workflow and how to work with non-symmetrical meshes, which is also very common and important to know about. Next, I'll quickly cover how to symmetrize a single vertex group rather than all of them. It can be a little bit convoluted, but let's undo. Okay, I'm going to paint a little bit here on the shoulder. And now if I wanted to symmetrize just this group, I can go to the vertex groups and this is the upper arm. So I'm going to expand this search field and look for upper. With this vertex group selected, go to this menu here, copy vertex group, then again from this menu, mirror vertex group, select the original right vertex group and delete it and rename this one to dot R. And that's it we symmetrized a single group. And this is nice, but a little bit time consuming. So next I'm going to show you a free add-on that makes symmetrizing these weights very easy. I'm talking about the easy weight add-on. You can get it here from GitLab. Just expand this download button and choose the zip file. And then in Blender, go to edit preferences add-ons, click install, find the zip file and then click install add-on. I already have it installed, so I'm going to Look for easy, easy weight and enable it. And easy weight has a lot of nice features. I already have a full video about the add-on and I highly recommend it. So check out that previous video. But here what we want are the symmetry features. So if I go to this menu here, you'll see that the add-on added new features. This menu is kind of messy because this is the first time I enable the add-on. So I have to close Blender and open it again. Okay, so this is what the menu should look like. Now let me paint some weights without symmetry. So 
Okay, now with this add-on, we have a bunch of nice options. If I want to symmetrize all weights, I can go to Symmetry and Symmetrize All Groups, right? And here are the edits that we did, and it's all symmetrized. Let's undo. So the symmetry is gone. So now let's say that I only want to symmetrize the active group. I can just go to Symmetry and Symmetrize Active Group. And now the active group has been symmetrized. What's cool about these symmetry options is that they're smart. So if I add a monkey, for example, and go to weight paint mode and just paint a little bit, that will automatically create a group. If I go to symmetry and symmetrize active group, that will symmetrize these weights on the other side within this same group. However, if I undo and just name this group .l and do the same symmetry, symmetrize active, that will automatically create a new .r group and add symmetrical weights on the other side for this new group. So now I have two groups. So the add-on reacts differently depending on the name of the group. And now that the .r group already exists, I can go to the .l and paint some more. Now we have asymmetry again. So if I go to the left group again, symmetry, symmetrize active, that will symmetrize the weights within the existing .r group. Now let's start talking about asymmetry. And before we move to a mesh that is truly asymmetrical, it's also important to understand that symmetry can be broken, meaning that your mesh may be almost perfectly symmetrical, but there may be small precision errors which break the symmetry. In a perfectly symmetrical mesh, if you go to edit mode, each vertex on one side of the mesh has an exact counterpart on the other side. So for example, if I select this vertex here, and then the symmetrical vertex on the other side, you'll see that the coordinates are exactly the same, except that the X value is negative on one side and positive on the other side. And an easy practical way to check your symmetry is to just select a bunch of vertices and move them. And if you have this X option enabled here, or you can enable it here, or under tool, options, mirror, X. Now, with this X enabled, if I move these vertices, you'll see that the symmetrical vertices on the other side also move. So this mesh is currently perfectly symmetrical. You will often find imperfect or broken symmetry in meshes that were imported using FBX or OBJ. Or if you just disable this mirror setting and move some vertices, that will also break the symmetry, of course. And another very common reason for breaking the symmetry that most people don't know about is using sculpt node. In sculpt mode, if you use the X symmetry, and especially if you use the smooth brush, in edit mode, that will most likely break the symmetry. So until a second ago, we had symmetry, but now if I select these vertices that I smoothed, you'll see that the ones on the other side don't move. But fortunately, that is very easy to fix. Just select all vertices and go to Mesh, Snap to Symmetry, and you can play around with these settings. But for simple cases like this one, the defaults are just fine. And now if I select these vertices and move them, you'll see that the ones on the other side also move. So select all vertices, mesh, snap to symmetry is how you fix broken symmetry. And once you have a perfectly symmetrical mesh, you can start applying the techniques that I showed until now. Now let's see what we can do with a character that is really not symmetrical. This mesh here, if I go to edit mode and enable X symmetry and try to move some vertices, you will see that the vertices on the other side do not move at all. And here, if I try to use um, snap to symmetry, that will just mess things up, so I won't do it. And the more complex the character become, the more likely it is that you'll have actual asymmetry. Now, even though the vertices of this model are not symmetrical, the actual shape of the character is symmetrical, meaning that it has two arms and two legs, and they have equal length. As long as that's the case, you can use the technique that I'm going to show you right now. So let me quickly paint some weights on one side of this guy now. I will disable mirroring, although it won't work anyway. And then enable my deforming bones. And start painting. And let's make the painting really easy to 
notice. So I'll paint on the shoulder, a little bit on one side of the upper body. Then here for the upper leg, I'm going to paint on this bag, which is completely asymmetrical. It's not present on the other side at all, but even so, these weights here can be mirrored on the other side. Let's paint a little bit here as well. And for the lower body. Okay, that should be enough. Now here's the technique. Select your character, Shift D, and make a duplicate of it. Then go to Edit Mode, select all vertices, and go to Mesh, Symmetrize. And here I want to symmetrize positive X to negative X. Positive X is this side, which I edited. Then I'll zoom in and select one of the central vertices. And again, use Select, Side of Active, and I want to select the negative axis. To have this side selected and X and delete the faces. So now I have this half of the mesh. Then go to object mode, go to the modifiers and add a mirror modifier. And the mirror modifier under data has this vertex group checkbox, which is checked by default, keep it checked and apply the modifier. So that will mirror the weights from the left side to the right side. Now in the outliner, Select the character copy that we symmetrized and then control click on the original character and go to weight paint mode. Go to weights, transfer weights and change source layers to by name. And the default vertex mapping is OK, but if it doesn't work well, try changing it to nearest face interpolated. Here I'll keep it to default. Go to object mode. You can hide or delete this mesh copy. Now I'm going to go to weight paint mode for the original character. And you'll see that these weights that I painted have been mirrored on the other side. This as well, this was mirrored, this as well. And here on the leg, you'll see that we even managed to mirror these weights, which are quite asymmetrical. So this is my technique for symmetrizing weights on asymmetrical meshes. I came up with it myself, so you probably won't see it anywhere else. If you learned something new, please click like, subscribe and check out academy.cgdive.com because it is the best way to enjoy CG Dive content.